When the news breaks, reporters and anchors broadcast it. Analysts will talk about the impact of this on society. But current affairs will set the agenda for policymakers to implement it. This is what we do on agenda. It's sharp, authentic and hard-hitting. My name is Deborah Kwabla. Join us as we set the agenda. Agenda now shows on Sundays at 3 p.m. only on TV3 and is supported by 3FM 92.7 Accra. And uh, the Northern Sector Bureau Chief, uh, Kofi Edidonfe, has joined us via Skype. He uh, is also uh, stationed in the Ashanti region, Kumasi specifically, and is going to be giving us a, a brief chronology of activities of these vigilante groups, especially Delta Force in the Ashanti region. When they were formed, do we know what major activities have they engaged in? And then also, especially during the 2012, 2016 elections, what role do they play? And clearly it is seen that they are affiliated to the NPP, but the party has not said much about the, what is going on now. In the region, has the party mentioned anything or said anything about the activities of the vigilante groups? Kofi, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Right, I mean, uh, clearly there seem to be some sanity in the Ashanti region and the police have told us that they are taking control of the situation. What other information can you give us about the Delta Force vigilante group? Well, Martin, uh, let me first say that um, residents of Kumasi are as insane as uh, many a Ghanaian who have followed uh, this recent unlawful actions of uh, this political uh, vigilante group. Now, monitoring talk on local radio and indeed on the streets of Kumasi, of course, uh, being the uh, ruling party, is a stronghold. Um, you get um, a sense that people um, are really not enthused with a uh, failure of the political leadership to seriously and uh, strategically deal with members of uh, the Delta Force. Uh, though there have been attempts to play uh, political equalization, uh, you realize that all forces uh, point to very strong condemnation of uh, this blatant disregard for, for the rule of law. Now, the visibility of these um, heavily built men, and um, they are actually referred to as NPP macho men uh, here uh, in, in the Ashanti region. The other questions were visible during the uh, 2012 elections when uh, they came out in groups with the intent of um, protecting ballot boxes uh, from being snatched uh, during the, uh, the polling uh, process. In fact, at the time, they, they sought official recognition from, from the police to, to, to really act as partners in, in the whole uh, electoral process, but uh, their request um, was turned down. Yet, they were seen actually during this 2012 polls in their numbers at various polling stations uh, trying to protect as they claimed the, the ballot boxes. But I must say, Martin, that these groups became more organized and well established with, with well established leadership uh, and structures in the run up to, to the 2010 elections. But the names that we, as we are hearing were not that profound during the period. For, for instance, for most residents of Kumasi, um, the mention of Delta Force would really not ring a bell, other than um, probably Chuck Norris uh, start a uh, war film uh, of the 1980s. Now, the name of the group gained prominence after the, 20, uh, that's, uh, the 24th March uh, debacle of the attempt to force uh, the regional security coordinator from office. But I must also say that prior to this, the leader of the group, Kojo Fusu, uh, also known as Bamba, had granted a press uh, interview, I think somewhere uh, in February or early uh, March, uh, where he expressed the intention of Delta Force to arrest uh, former uh, Kumasi Mayor Kojo Bonsu over uh, the cost of, uh, of uh, the, the, the uh, Ratri Park. Um, but aside this infamous um, Invisible force, we are also hearing of other vigilante groups like the NPP Action Troopers uh, Security Group also also in, in the region. So this is how um, the, the whole group uh, groups have been formed. But 
uh, as to exact date and time when they were formed, it, it's, it's not very clear, um, except to uh, say that it was just uh, close to the polls of 2016 that um, some of these um, names uh, started uh, coming up. Quite an extensive explanation you've given there of the activities of these vigilante groups and even the name change. But what can you tell us with regard to violence associated with them? Are they only an active political group or they have undertaken some notable violence activities? Well, I think um, in times past, um, after 2012 elections, um, 2016 elections, they, there are a group of macho men or well-built men who have gone out in attempts to uh, get toilets and other um, government-run facilities um, taken away. But they, they, they were not coming out in names of 